Hi, I'm Julie from the American Crochet Association. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet broomstick lace. For this tutorial, I'll be using Red Heart Soft in the color Rose Blush. I'll also be using my Clover Amore hook in a size H, 5mm. To make broomstick lace, you also need a knitting needle. The one that I'm using is 25mm. We'll start out by making a slip knot. In rows, the stitch is worked in multiples of 5 plus 1 for the base chain. If you're working in rounds, you'll chain multiples of 5. For this example, I'll be working in rows and I'm going to start out by chaining 26. To start the first row, I'm going to make one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Now I'm going to make one single crochet in each chain all the way across. To start row 2, I'm going to draw up a loop. Then I'm going to put that on the end of my knitting needle. Slide it down and tighten it as needed, just making sure that it's not too loose. Now I'm going to insert my hook into the next single crochet, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Pull it up and then put that on the end of the knitting needle as well. Remove your hook and then tighten the loop as needed. We're going to be doing this in each single crochet all the way across. Insert your hook into the next single crochet, yarn over and draw up a loop. Put that on the end of the needle, remove your hook and tighten as needed. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Put that on the end of the needle, remove your hook and then tighten the loop as needed. As you're working, you can keep sliding the loops down as you add more. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Put that on the end of the needle, remove your hook, and tighten the loop as needed. And now we're going to continue working like this until we reach the end of the row. Now when you have one loop drawn up in each stitch, you're ready to move on to the next row where we're going to work all of the loops off of the needle. To start row 3, I'm going to separate the first 5 loops and insert my hook under those. I'm going to bring my hook to the top and then yarn over and draw up a loop. then chain one. Now I'm going to slide those five loops off of the needle. Now I'm going to make five single crochets in the center of those loops. Now 
Now I'm going to move on to the next five loops and slide those off onto my hook. And now I'll make five single crochets in the center of those five loops. And now I'm going to move on to the next five loops and slide those off onto my hook. And now I'll make five single crochets in the center of those loops. Now I'm going to repeat this the rest of the way across. Slide five loops off onto your hook. And then make five single crochets in the center of those loops. Continue working like this until you get to the end of the row. To start row 4, I'm going to draw up a loop and then put it onto my needle. Remove the hook and tighten the loop as needed. Now I'm going to insert my hook into the next single crochet. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Put it on the needle. Remove your hook and then tighten the loop as needed. Insert your hook into the next single crochet, yarn over and draw up a loop, put it onto your needle, then remove your hook and tighten the loop as needed. We're going to continue working like this the rest of the way across this row. When you have a loop drawn up in each stitch, you're ready to move on to row 5 where we're going to work all of the loops off of the needle. To start row 5, I'm going to separate the first 5 loops and insert my hook under those. I'm going to move it to the top, and then yarn over and draw up a loop under those 5 loops. And then chain 1. Now I'm going to slide those five loops off of my needle. Now I'll make five single crochets in the center of those loops. Now I'm going to move on to the next five loops. Put those five loops on your hook and then slide them off the needle. Now make five single crochets in the center of those loops. Now moving on to the next five loops, 
Put those loops on your hook and then slide them off the needle. Now make five single crochets in the center of those loops. Now continue working like this until you get to the end of the row. To continue working this stitch, you can repeat rows 4 and 5 as many times as you'd like. 